Good evening, everyone. My name is Jan Lightfoot, and I'm coming to you tonight from Vacaville, California. I wanted to just briefly share a little bit of um, what my philosophy is uh, regarding judging. And I've been doing judging for about five or six years now. I've always wanted to or try to provide the maker of an image with honest and positive feedback. I believe that constructive feedback can be a valuable tool to learn to see creatively, build a portfolio, or acquire a better understanding of photography. Hepcat's Groove. This is kind of interesting. I feel like the record is actually suspended in space. It sort of looks like a flying saucer, and it, it looks as though it's almost spinning with the light playing on the surface the way it is. The center really pops out. I don't know what the white line is coming down from the record below on the sort of uh, on the left side a little bit, but um, that's just a little bit distracting. But uh, I think it's a great idea. It's a great, interesting subject for a low-key image. The next image is called Hardware, a low-key image of a Nikon done very, very low-key. In fact, I think that um, I'd like to see a little bit more detail in this image. For example, I'd love to see the, uh, the writing on the inside of the lens, under the lens hood here. I think it's a little too dark. I, I just don't feel there's enough detail in this, and I think it could be cropped in because I don't think you need all that black in there. Next image is called My Feet. And I think most people probably get a kick out of this image. I was wondering how it was shot, perhaps with a self-timer or a remote trigger or something like that. But anyway, yeah, it's got some humor to it, but, uh, you know, still creative. Um, who would think to photograph the bottom of your feet? So uh, interesting perspective on, on that. Next is three dogs. Very cute dogs, and it's great that you got them all looking at one thing, although I wish they were looking at the camera, but still they're all focused on something you can see. Here again, you have that element of three. That does work very well. Next is Sunshine Flowers. This image is, um, it was a little bit difficult for me to figure out what was, what the intent was here of the photographer. Based on the title, Flower or Sunshine Flowers, I see the flowers in the foreground, and that's kind of a nice, you know, subject. They're backlit, they're sort of done in high key. The tree trunk kind of goes out of the picture, so it's leading my eye directly out of the picture, and, and the brightness on the right with the sun is just sort of drawing my eye. I don't know where to go in this image. Um, I do wish that you focused on the flowers and not so much on the other things in the image. Next is Ghost in the Mirror. An interesting image also. Uh, looks like a composite, perhaps. I like the story. It's kind of eerie with this figure on the right side and um, an open closet door to kind of let you see, you know, some stuff that's in there. I'm not sure that the left side of the image is really helping. And I think perhaps uh, if it was cropped, maybe just to um, the edge of the window um, on the right, still leaving some of the louvers in there, but just cropping the, the left side off, it might help because the, the corner of the room really sort of divides the photo. The next image is called Sugar Sugar. I like the subject a lot kind of creative, and I think the low key really helps to pop the sugar, the sugar granules falling from the spoon into the cup, and you can see a few little granules on the plate here. Nicely done. I feel there's a, a bit of a difference of exposure between the actual really bright, bright sugar and the dark, dark shadows of the, of the cup, but I love the idea. I think you've done a great job with that. Next is Great Sisterhood. Two very, very bright flowers against a, a very dark background, which really makes the flowers pop out of the image. I do wish that we could see a little bit more sharpness in the, the back of the flower. 
the, the one in the back, I'm sorry. I almost think that the contrast levels sort of compete with each other. So I'd like to see perhaps the highlights toned down just a bit in the flowers themselves. I like the composition and um, nice job. Next is Shadow Cat. This is a, a actually a, a really nice image. I, I love the shadows and the light, the play between the two. And I love the expression of the cat. Although you can't see his right eye too much, that's okay because I'm really zeroed in on, on the eye that, that is visible. The only thing about this image, however, is that um, I wish it were sharper. I, I wish the eye was sharp, but I, I do love this really intimate, close-up perspective of the cat. The next image is called Internal Universe. This is a great example of, of a high-key image. I think flowers do make great high-key subjects. What I like about this is the softness of, of the image. You know, the colors were all very sharp. Overall, I like the blurred background. Kala. This is a lovely image. The color is beautiful. I love the simplicity of it. I love how the black background just helps to support the flower in general. It's almost a little bit too underexposed. I think the flower might benefit from being maybe a tad bit lighter, brighter, uh, maybe a little more color. The left side is, is really close to the edge of the frame. I might try just pulling it away from that frame a little bit, the edge of the frame, but very nice. Next is Investigation. This is a nice image. I like the graphic quality of this image. It's got nice lights and darks. It's sort of um, half high key and half low key. I like the sepia tone, brown tones to it, very urban. Next is Trio of Flower Buds, another beautiful flower image. The low-key contrast here works so nicely. I love the odd number of stems there are in this image. Um, when you're using odd numbers of elements, uh, your eye tends to linger a little bit more in the image because when you just have two elements, like just two flowers, for example, uh, they tend to compete with each other. So having three stems coming up and running diagonal through the image like this, uh, it's, it's just a, a beautiful image. Next is Opera Singer. This uh, image received honorable mention. I love the colors in here and I love how they're set against this dark background. The only thing I might say here is that if there was a bit more yellow in her skin tones, I think it would really make those colors even pop a little bit more. It's a little on the cool side. But overall, it's a, it's a really, really nice image and, um, and this is the honorable, one of the honorable mentions. Next is Tandy Hills. I think this is a very nice high key image. It is an honorable mention. And the reason is, is because again, it, it works so well in, in high key. I love the simplicity of the colors. You have three basic colors, the pinks, the greens, and the whites. And that really works well together. And I, I like the random spray of the flowers. I thought you just did a really nice job. Next. Okay, this image is third place. This is called Nicole. The reason I chose this as third place is because I love the perspective. I love the expression. Captured just a, a really interesting moment in time. Um, I love the fact that her fingers uh, are up with the OK sign. And then she's set against this very neutral, low-key background. Very nice. Great capture. Next is the rose. The reason uh, this came in second place is because the, I, I love the creativity. I love the smoke patterns and how they are coming through the rose and sort of swirling around the rose and then moving on to the right side of the image. Very creative, nicely done and low key. Next, play ball is the first place image. This was very nicely done. I love everything technically about this. The depth of field is, is very good. 
you know, there's detail in the dark areas. Uh, you've retained the detail in the white areas. And uh, it's, it's just a very nice sort of still life, low key image. So this is first place. Intermediate level. Okay, this is called Cuban Mama. I love her expression. I love her hair wrapped up in the scarf. She's uh, very engaging. However, the exposure values, again, I think this is supposed to be a high-key image, but uh, I think it would be okay to go ahead and, and, and uh, brighten up her face, and that could be part of this high-key image. It just doesn't look quite natural. It looks like more of a white vignette. So try to just uh, equalize those exposure values and um, see where it goes. The frogs found the fountain just before midnight. Another image with some humor in it, obviously shot at night, which gives it its low-key quality. I love the frogs. I love the blue in the image. I like the blue and the yellows of the in the rocks. I'm not sure that the background is really helping the image. Uh, there are some distractions in the background. For example, the, the yellow flower over on the left kind of just distracts your eye a little bit away from the frogs. So maybe just cropping in um, a lot more so that you're getting just the frogs. Again, a, a kind of a, a lighthearted image. Next is Wonder. My thought is that this uh, could have been shot with a pinhole camera, perhaps. I do wish I could see more of her face, though, and less of her hair. I think having the nose in there and incorporating the, the mouth, that expression on her face, would be a little bit more advantageous than seeing uh, as much of her hair. But I like the idea... Yeah, a lovely idea, and I, I would love to see a little bit more of her profile on this. Okay, this is called Feeling Good. This is a nice image. It's very well backlit. Uh, I like the mane coming down with the light coming through it, and you can barely see some sun rays coming through there. The horse is in motion, which is kind of nice. And uh, although you, the, the ears are cropped off, I wish that was a, a part of the image that the ears were completely in the image. But I do like the fact that you can see the horse's eye. Uh, that helps. Um, so I think overall this is a you know, well-done exposure. I just wish those ears were included in the, in the image. Okay, the next image is called Deep LM Tanks 619. I love the lines in this. I love the curves, uh, the light and the shadows. Uh, you have a view of the sky, which I, I kind of wish we had something else in here that uh, led our eye to not the sky, but perhaps something else. I don't know. But an interesting, you know, sort of tilted, skewed uh, vision of tanks with interesting light. Thunderbird Diamond Formation. I'm thinking this represents a high-key image. I think it could be even more high-key uh, by simply increasing um, some of the white values and highlight values and uh, make these really pop against the sky. I like the fact that you've caught them in a diagonal line, and uh, that's much nicer than if they were just you know, flying through the frame horizontally. Um, so that creates a little bit more of a dynamic feeling. But yeah, I think just by lightening this image up a little bit, increasing some of those whites, maybe even a little bit more saturation would really pop this image. Title of this is Hot Wheels number 31. And when I first saw this image, I was thinking, how did they get a NASCAR to end up in this position? But then I realized it wasn't a real car, that it was Hot Wheels. So nice job. It looks, it does look real. The tire kind of gives it away, I suppose. But uh, the colors pop against the black background. And I, I love the tilted angle that you've used on this. 
Okay, the next image is called Dancers Waiting to Go on Stage. I'm very drawn to the girl on the left. I like the way her hair is sort of dangling over one eye, and so you're, you're making contact with, with one eye here. She's on her phone, of course, and uh, they're just sort of sitting around and, you know, just sort of doing their thing. I, I feel like I'm almost looking at two different images here. In the background, you have another line that's sort of dividing the two pictures. But I do like the contrast that you have in the blacks and the whites uh, because they're well exposed. But I'm very drawn to the girl on the left. Okay, the next image is High Key Rose. The colors pop in this image, the yellows and the reds against the white background. I feel that there's um, not enough three-dimensional quality about this, and I, I'm having a little bit of trouble with a rose, the yellow rose in the foreground. Uh, it sort of interrupts the, the whole flow into the uh, picture of the, the red rose. Again, a little bit more graphic in nature, but uh, very strong colors and nice sharpness uh, in the red rose itself. Next is Still Crazy After All These Years. Portrait of an older gentleman, again, done with the uh, low-key values. He's a great subject. I love the, the hat. Uh, here again, though, I do wish he was looking at the photographer. I kind of would like to see both of his eyes, but perhaps a reflector or a little side light on the left side would help to fill in those shadows there. And I think and, and make this a little bit more interesting. Okay, next is H.L. Key Christ on Cross, Ireland. It's tough to take other people's works of art and transform them into your own. Using this, these low-key tones, I think you've really created some interesting contrast with this. That does help to make it uh, your own. It's kind of your own vision. I do like the figures, the perspective that you shot them from, so they're not overlapping. Good take on something that sometimes is very difficult to capture. Next is Trout Lily. Flowers just make such key images. Uh, we've lost a little bit of white value over here on the left, but nevertheless, it still, you know, it still works well uh, being in high key. I'm thinking that perhaps uh, some of the area on the right could be cropped off uh, just to bring your eye focused in more on the two lilies in the center of the picture. Next is uh, one of the uh, honorable mentions, and uh, I just really like the contrasts in this image. I like the textures in this image. I like that you've taken this um, uh, sort of tangle of roots and probably maybe put it in the studio, I don't know, but just took it out of its, its element, if you will, and just created a kind of a special image of this mass. This image, just your, your eye is allowed to sort of wander around and, and um, see all these different textures and things that are going on. The second honorable mention, this is called White Light. Um, I like this because it's got a very gritty, urban feel to it. It has a sense of spontaneity. The negative space on the left really tends to support the whites and the lighter values of the the white light and uh, his eyes and that sort of thing. So I, I just think what stands out here are is everything that's important: the eyes, the subject, the T-shirt, and those are are really what your eye focuses on. Next is Just Lying in the Sun. I love the title. I, <clears throat> I love the composition. Uh, it's very simple. There's um, nice bokeh in the background. Her eyes are closed, and she's just having, you know, a very nice nap in the sun. It's a good story. Uh, all done in high key, which I think really blends well together. It's, it's, it's very lovely. 
This is second place, uh, and this is second place because this is just such a great example of high key, almost extreme high key. And you can see that it has just a real punch to it, a real graphic um, sort of nature about it. Her eyes just really pop out at you, and yet you, you get a little hint of nose there. Um, so I think this is a great example of, of using high key. Okay, and first place is called Daisies. This is very well done. Everything is sharp, great depth of field, beautiful color. I love the technique that was used here. So this is your first place image. We are now in the advanced uh, level. Cosmic Soup Bowl. I think that this, while well, this bowl has a beautiful shape to it, and I think that it might be underexposed, I think by uh, increasing the exposure that the lines in this bowl would, would really pop out. But I think there's some detail in here that could be brought out in the image. Okay, next is uh, Arboretum Pond Lily. You know, I, I think the exposure is good on this. I wish there was uh, more of the base of the lily that uh, was was visible or included in, in the image. And I do feel like overall it's soft. I wish there was uh, a point of focus in this. I, I just feel that it's it's a little bit soft and perhaps it was cropped in a lot. I don't know. But good exposure overall. Okay, next is the hummingbird. To me, this looks perhaps like a composite. Uh, it, it looks like the, the hummingbird was uh, cut out from a previous image and set against this dark background, which is fine, but I just see some, some lines around uh, the wings and the head and uh, outlines of white, which tend to not give it a real feeling. It does look like it was cut and pasted. So I'm not sure if that's what the photographer was going for. Perhaps it was. Abandoned grain elevator. Very sort of moody, dark, uh, mysterious. Uh, um, you can you really get a sense that this is abandoned. Uh, the overgrown tree in the foreground uh, helps to give you that sense. Uh, the abandoned building. Um, I really like it. I like the the dark tones in this. I wish the tree was, I don't know, not directly in the center of the image. I, I wish perhaps a different perspective, maybe moving to the left more, or uh, perhaps there was another, uh, you know, perspective from the right. But having that tree right dead center in the center is, is uh, a little bit static. It tends to create a little bit of a static feel. Uh, but I love the mood that this uh, is giving off. Spring cactus. Here your exposure is, is, you know, a little more equalized. I like this. I mean, it's, uh, it's not too hot. It's not uh, too dark. It's just about right. The leaf here over on the right, uh, here, here we have two kind of focal points that again, kind of compete with each other. So uh, I'm not sure what you could do about this uh, because the leaf is part of the composition. Uh, it looks like you have lighting coming from uh, the top down onto the leaf, and I would prefer to see maybe some side lighting coming in instead. But I think your exposure is done really well, and I think the flower itself is very, very sharp. Next is water lilies. I love the inclusion of the dragonfly in this. It just really makes the image. I think you could just actually, you know, I, I like this the way it is, but I think you, I think there's two pictures here. I think you could actually divide this image in half and perhaps have two images. The flower that's more in the foreground than any others, um, unfortunately, is soft. And I really wish that was sharp because that's the first thing your eye really sees going into this picture is the foreground. But nevertheless, it's still uh, very nicely done. I love the colors um, and the dark background really sets everything off nicely. Mont Fort. Nicely done in black and white. 
Low key, I think mainly because the sky is just so dark and it looks really um, like it's been polarized, and which really uh, emphasizes that dark sky and gives it that dark feel with snow that's nicely contrasting. I love the, the composition, very nicely done. Mandarin Duck Family. This is a great story. Um, mom with the three babies and the dad bringing up the back and uh, done nicely with high key. Uh, nice composition. Good focus. Uh, nice sharpness too. So um, yeah, I love the story in this image. And this is one of the honorable mentions. This is called Amaryllis Belladonna. Yeah, I, I like the composition in particular in this, and I do like the fact that everything is sharp. I can't see anything that really has anything not in focus. So very nicely done, and it's not so contrasty that it's it's got a soft contrast is what I'm trying to say, and and I like that, and I can see the the dimensionality in the in the flower itself. So uh, nice work. Okay, next is looking for next meal. Um, this is an honorable mention. I just really like this image. I, I love using negative space to set off a subject, and I think this is a great example of that. The bird is very well outlined, um, sitting on, on this stone ledge looking for food. So there's some, there's some graphic elements about it that make it interesting. I like that the bird is looking out into the negative space, which really makes the story. This is the third place image, three, uh, ranoculus. Just very well done as far as technicalities. It's very, very sharp. I love the way the stems intertwine and you have one lower than, than the other two and the colors are just brilliant and yet not too bright and bold. Nicely done. Iris over black. This is your second place image. I love the way the whites were handled in this and there's a lot of detail. This is such a delicate flower. Um, and I can see a lot of the detail in the flower itself. And again, not too contrasty, just, you know, very nice contrast set against this black background. I love the way the white and the black work together. Next is Inja Sheep. I just thought this was a great image. Done in, in high key like this. The goats are white already, so that's a, a good indication that this could uh, render itself as, a, as a, um, a high key image. But the colors are very soft and muted. I just really love the expression on the goats. I'm sorry, the sheep. <laughs> just a, a really fun image. That is your first place image. Okay, coming into the home stretch here, uh, we're moving on to the uh, master's level. Uh, next is lock. I love the detail. I'm glad that you got in close to this. It has interesting lines, horizontal lines, uh, vertical lines, white lines, dark lines, and then this lock over here on the left side. I wish that it was sharp. I just feel that either this has been cropped in a lot or your focus just wasn't quite on the lock itself. But otherwise, I, I think the composition is really nice. Still life with three bottles. The colors here are really nice. There's some reds and blues and yellows and a little bit of green in there too, I think. However, I really think this could pop a lot more if the exposure was brought up. I think this is a little bit too low key because I think we're missing some details that are just hidden in the shadows. And so I, I would really like to see this uh, brought out a little bit more. It's really hard in the bottle on the left to see where it, it's actually sitting because there's no defined line. It just looks like one big bottle. So I, I think defining this a little bit more would, would help to make this image a little bit better. Next is Butterfly, black and white. This has a really, really graphic quality about it. 
It almost looks like sort of an ink drawing. The leaf uh, sort of has a different look about it, and I'm not sure how I would describe that. But uh, again, very graphic, very simple in nature. Uh, the butterfly really pops off the page. So uh, nicely done on that. Next is American Bald Eagle. This has great detail in it. I, you can see every, almost every hair, or not hair, I should call them feathers, I suppose, but uh, lots of really, really good detail in this. And I, I guess the only thing I, I'm just, um, I'm not used to seeing um, a bald eagle in, with sort of a, a greenish tint to it. So I wish that could be taken down and maybe um, desaturate uh, that green so it renders more of a natural you know, looking white. But I, I love that you got in close and I love that you got this detail um, in this eagle. Next is Patagonia. This is a nice image and done in low key black and white with uh, high key highlights. The mountain itself provides a lot of interesting contrast uh, between the darks of the, the tip of the mountain and um, then you come down a little further and you have those lighter uh, lighter shades of uh, in the rocks. So um, nice composition. Uh, you are blessed with great weather, uh, nice clouds, nicely done. Okay, next is Summer Blooms. This is a very nice still life. I think the whites were handled pretty well. You know, every white has a different color temperature and you have separation, that uh, demarcation line between the whites of the vase and the white of the background. So um, that works well. Beautiful flowers. I love the yellows and the purples together. I love how it, it sort of goes up at a diagonal line into the corner of the image. So your eye flows really nicely around this image. Next is ripples. Kind of a very minimalist kind of image. Uh, the texture and the sand, the ripples really give you that, you, you know where you are, you're, you're in the dunes, and here's life springing up from the dunes. The composition is nice. I don't even mind so much that the flower or the plant actually is going off the frame here on the right side. I don't really mind that too much at all because this is a nice focal point. The straight leaves make a nice contrast to the curvy ripples and so a nice simple image. One week old. And of course babies make wonderful high key subjects and uh, this is no exception. Very, very sweet, nicely done, wrapped up like a burrito in this blanket. And the lighting is very, very nice and not too contrasty, nice shadows in the baby's face. And the background is used very well. Nothing, you know, distracts your attention from the baby. Nicely done. Next is the first honorable mention. This is called Blake Taking It Easy. And I see a lot of power in this image. Um, there's a lot of uh, indications that this is a very strong image, his tattoos, um, his uh, bare chest. But anyway, he's holding this flask down here. And uh, the lighting is very, very nice. Great job in black and white. I think it would be even a stronger image if he was looking at the camera. Because he's looking away, it sort of takes away from that, you know, from all the other elements in here that are very strong and pronounced. A tip of the hat. Now, what I like about this are the subdued colors. The color in her lips just uh, really pop, and yet they're very subdued. But against this sort of dark black or gray background uh, and muted skin tones, uh, you really just zoom in on her on her lips because it's that one pop of color that uh, draws your attention right away. So this is the other honorable mention. This is the third place image, Girl Without Pearl Earring. I just really like the lighting here, and I, I love her blue eyes and the way they pop. Just very, very well done, and I just can't really say anything bad about this because it's just a really, really nice portrait. Okay, next is uh, Sacred Kiva. This is your second place image. 
I love this. This is, uh, I'll tell you, these, these, a lot of these images were just very, very difficult to choose from because they're all just really, really nice. This one was uh, definitely one of my favorite images. I love the atmosphere of this. I love the mood. I love the the lighting. You you really get a feeling that this is a place of importance and, you know, a place of honor and respect. And um, it's just so sort of obvious by the lighting. So this um, this is your second place image. And your first place image, and this is also best of show, is called Tangled Up in Blue. I love this image. This is just so powerful. This is a low key image done with a great exposure, uh, great colors, great subject, uh, wonderful textures. I, I just think this is so striking. And um, I'm not sure how this was done, but uh, it really, really stands out. Thank you so much for allowing me to uh, share in um, judging your images tonight. I, I really enjoyed it. And I really hope everybody got a little something out of the comments tonight. And uh, thank you all very much.